been a while since we had a, a like a, a a non-serious argument on stream. Occasionally, we have some serious arguments on stream. Like, I still can't get over the fact that a, a Costco rotisserie chicken a, in Canada is five dollars and ninety nine cents. It's an entire chicken. It's got to be like a pound and a half of of cooked meat or something like that with seasoning. People in chat were like, "Yeah, it's an okay deal." What are you talking about? Are you just stealing like vegetables out of other people's gardens for free? That's the only way you can beat those margins. It's a lost leader. They're losing money on the sale. Stolen Wi-Fi, stolen. And by the way, listen, if you want to if you want to step to a guy who's wearing a Mickey Mouse baby blue long sleeve sweatshirt that says Walt Disney World on the bottom, go ahead. Okay, it's Monday. I got a lot of energy. You can't stop me. We're going to start with a tier list. We got, a, we got a variety of tier lists set up today. These are A24 actors ranked based on how likely it is that I could beat them in a fight. Now, I want to establish some rules, okay? Uh, no weapons... That's about the only rule I could think of. Like, let's, you, you know how on Physical 100, there were two arenas for the 1v1 wrestling? One of the arenas was like a, an obstacle course, and then the other one was just like a circle. We're going to town in just the circle, okay? There's no terrain, there's no weapons, there's just, uh, it, it's just a flat room in a warehouse. And it, it's not till death necessarily, let's say it's to death or submission, A24 actors I can completely demolish. A24 actors I can beat up. A24 actors I can probably beat up. Fight is a draw. A24 actors that can probably beat me up. A24 actors that can definitely beat me up. Nope, I'm running. <laughs> it's interesting because I, I, my first thought is like I'm, you know, a pampered coast, coastal elite whose life has had no actual hardship in it. So that's a, it's a problem for me in spirit. But then these are like largely big time Hollywood actors who have a team of people like spoon feeding them like every single meal and stuff like that. Sure, some of them have had combat training, but like on a mental level, I, I think I'm not cooked by 100% of them, at least. I, I, I think I got a chance against a few. I'm, and I'm just going to be honest, okay? Like, I'm glad that we start here because like I clear Patrick Stewart. I'm sorry to say. I don't think like if, if we normalize the ages if we went to you know if we took him at 34 versus me at 34 i don't know maybe it's it's even maybe he gets me by a bit the man it's not his fault he's like 90 years old i i'm i'm not saying i would completely demolish him but i think i could definitely completely demolish him ryan reynolds i mean like he wins there's no doubt about it am i running Am I, am I scared? I'm going to say he can definitely beat me up. But I'm not running. One of the reasons I'm not running is because I think that he's mentally sane. He, he is, the movies he picks are too mid for him to be crazy. Like Tom Hardy, I'm, I know he's on here somewhere. Tom Hardy, I'm running, okay? Like this guy is crazy. He could kill me. Like he might want to kill me. Ryan Reynolds, I think he would just, once he, it was clear, he, I don't even know if he would strike me. I think he would just hold my hands behind my back and I would struggle for a bit and then I'd be like, okay, you got me. Now, I'm not uh, ashamed to admit, I'm not trying to overstate my own prowess. I could beat Adam Sandler in a fight for sure. It's, it's, I, it might be close just because we're both closer to the normal person than we are to, like, a professional athlete. He can ball. Yeah, but it's not who would win in 1v1 basketball. What are you talking about? It's just, it's just people are in chat are like, dude, he plays one versus one basketball all the time. What does that mean? Like, how would that... <laughs> you play, so what? He plays one versus one basketball all the time. He's got cardio? I got cardio, too. You listen, I'm not insulting him. He's he looks good for 56. I got 20 years of of youth and I think I mean I honestly think I'm in better shape. Not to be rude, not to say that he's in bad shape. I saw Hustle. 
with uh, Bo Cruz, I think I would definitely take him, okay? I would say, I'm going to say that I can beat him up. I'm not going to say I could demolish him. Because I, I really don't, unless somebody is like a child actor or they're 90, maybe 80, I don't think I'd demolish. But I think I, I could beat Adam Sandler up. I think if we did 10 fights, I win 7. If we do 10 against Patrick Stewart, I win 10. If we do 10 against Ryan Reynolds, I win 0, but he doesn't kill me. Hey, turn one for us. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Timothy Chalamet. I'm going to say I can probably beat up Timothy Chalamet. Now, I'm not... I'm, I'm putting him... Keep in mind, this is like inverted power level. I think Timothy Chalamet would defeat Adam Sandler, for sure. Watch Dune. I've seen Dune. Here's the thing. I, he's cooking my ass? All, okay, I'm, I don't know how tall Timothy Chalamet is, okay? I'm 5'10". I weighed in at 174 on Saturday morning. He's, he's in good shape, don't get me wrong, but I'm saying I, I, I think I've got enough of a weight advantage that, and not, like, listen, yeah, he's 12 years younger than me, 10 years younger than me. There's a difference between 24 and 34, but it's not as big as the difference between 34 and 56, right? I, I, think, I, get, I think I get him six out of 10 times. I'm not saying I get him nine out of 10 times. I think I get him six out of 10 times. This is the kid from Jumanji and also uh, Hereditary. I'm going to say that he's exactly in the Timothy Chalamet camp. No disrespect to, to this guy. I've forgotten his name. Um, I've, I've liked him in movies that he's been in. I feel like he's the guy you get when you're like, there's no shot we get Tim Timothy Chalamet. I mean, it, it, I'm not getting a lot of disrespect here. I'm getting a lot of plus twos. I'll take it. Maybe I should move him up to actors I can definitely beat up. Oscar Isaac. Um, there's, no, there's no shot I'm putting my power level above Oscar Isaac. Now, if, if we're normalizing the tiers that like this is six out of 10, I win. This is like seven to eight. And this is nine to 10. This is 50-50. Hey, Watermelon Arse, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. This is like, maybe I win four out of 10 or three to four. This is like one to two and this is zero, but also they'll kill me. I, I'm just trying to think, if we went 10 rounds, I think I'd take two off of Oscar Isaac. I do. I don't think it's, like, I think he clears me. Don't get me wrong, but I think I, I, think I could take two rounds. I'm putting them in actors that could probably beat me up. But I'm, I'm being very clear to define the word probably. I'm not giving him a 55% chance. I'm giving him, like, I'm, I think his power level is like, his is 100, mine's 80. He is also in Dune. That's true. So I'm saying that Timothy Chalamet and Dune could not beat up his dad. I don't think anyone would disagree with that. Now, Colin Farrell... This is, he's kind of like, Colin Farrell in 2000, no shot, he, he, he destroys me. Colin Farrell in 2023 strikes me as still, a, just because just he's in artsy movies instead of action movies, I bet if he took his shirt off, he'd be like one of those dudes who has like an unbelievably hairy stomach, but you could still see like his eight pack. For sure, I haven't seen I haven't seen the Banshees of Inisherin yet. I I also do think he's a little crazy because he takes interesting roles. Um, but he's got to be what he's early fifties. Let me let, let's just get down to brass tacks. Who wins in a fight, Oscar Isaac or Colin Farrell? It's it's tough because I I want to say that Oscar clears Colin now. 
or maybe they draw. But for, maybe it's like the fact that I feel like Colin Farrell may actually choose to kill me. I'm just going to put him in the definitely beats me up tier. I don't know who this is. Is this Eddie Redmayne? <laughs> no. <laughs> who is this? That's, that's not Ron Weasley. That's Lucas Hedges. Lucas Hedges. Well, can, can somebody... T uh, he's from mid-90s? I mean, I'm from the late 80s. Lucas Hedges. American actor. Okay, just give me a second. 26 height, 1.8 meters. He was in Moonrise Kingdom. I don't think this photo is doing him justice. So the photos, like this photo makes him look like Jesse Eisenberg, and I'm like, I clear him. But looking at the actual photos on Google Images, mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know. This is... He's got a lot of Timothy Chalamet-style uh, pictures here. You know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I could probably get him, but I, I I don't think I don't think any of these fights would be pretty. You don't clear Eisenberg? I I clear Jesse Eisenberg. I'm sorry. No disrespect. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Listen, I was gonna say draw, but then I remembered that I I saw the trailer for Weird, and he has like a 12 pack, and he would he would dust me. I think. I think he's like de deceptively, insanely shredded. So I think, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't feel, he's, he's really short though. He's like 5'5". Five, five. I don't want to be victims, uh, or I don't want to be a perpetrator of hypocrisy. One of the, and listen, this is all just intellectual exercise, okay? It's not like an objective power level, but I get so annoyed when people are like, well, so people talk about like Dan and I boxing, and people, I'm like, I don't know, I think it'd be pretty close. They're like, Dan would cook you. He's like two inches taller than you. I'm like, two inches taller doesn't mean shit. Neither of us know how to fight. And also, Dan's shorter than me. I don't know, it's just he like puts his webcam so it covers more of his torso. People think Dan's tall, but he's not. He's like, maybe like two centimeters shorter than me. But everybody, oh, people that like literally have never worked out in their life are like, dude, if, we, if I got in a fight with the flyweight champion of the world, I would totally cook them. I've got like an 80 pound weight advantage. No, you wouldn't, they would beat your ass, okay? So haven't you seen the video of, uh, of the mountain fighting uh, Conor McGregor and just throwing him around? Yeah, haven't you seen the video of the mountain deadlifting 1,100 pounds? You're not the mountain. Like, just, like, no disrespect, but you got to have a little bit of self-awareness. Just because, like, you're six foot and the person you're fighting has an eight-pack and they're 5'11", that doesn't mean you get the advantage, okay? Anyway. So, what I, literally, what I'm saying is that I think even if I have a few inches on Daniel Radcliffe and I'm taller, I don't think that that is enough to eliminate the eight-pack. The eight-pack difference. Plus... I don't know, something about like, I apologize, it's a little offensive. I'm not tall, but like, sometimes be careful who you call short in middle school. Because then you see them like 10 years after high school graduation, and they're like, I have a YouTube channel where I teach people how to get like 3% body fat. And, or they like, you know, like the same thing with guys who are like a little chubby in the eighth grade, and then you see them, uh, you know, on Facebook 15 years later and they're like a, a Navy SEAL or something like that. Like the things that people become, you know, sensitive about, sometimes they overcompensate in the other direction. And if it's a fist fight, that scares me. So anyway, I think Daniel Radcliffe clears me for sure. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to do myself a service and I'm only going to say probably, but I think... I, it, it's probably on the border between definitely and probably. Tom Hardy, I'm running. There's no, there's no question I'm running. 
because I think he's stronger than me and he's a little crazy. So that's not even like up for debate. Michael Fassbender clears me. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I, I would say he could definitely beat me up. I think he's like 6'7 six, six, or something. He's also a black belt. Oh, okay. And he's, uh, and he's an android. I was going to say he's the alien, but that's not true. Run from him? Well, I don't think he would kill me on purpose. I think he would just be like, you know, I think he would just kill my ass. Seth Rogen? I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think I wouldn't want to, but I think I could definitely beat up Seth Rogen. What do you mean no shot? Like, he's 10 years older. I, I'm not, you're, like, I much prefer saying someone's going to beat me up because, like, then I don't have to insult a stranger. When I was, but I have to call it like I see it, okay? I think I think I got conditioning on Seth Rogen. You know, I've mistreated my body at times in my life, but I, I'm not a habitual smoker. I mean, I, I think Seth Rogen versus Adam Sandler is like a fair fight. I I think that could be a fight that would that that could go twelve rounds. So I gotta put him in the same tier. I mean, it wouldn't go 12 rounds. I'm sure it would go one round. Like, chess boxing taught me that, you know, unless you're insanely conditioned, like, after you throw, like, your third punch, you're pretty much gassed, but... Could you outsmoke him? I, I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't ruin the entertainment event of a Who Could Smoke More Weed show by going, pretending to go up against Seth Rogen. You got to put Seth Rogen up against like Snoop Dogg to see who can smoke more pots. You got to put me up against, I don't even know, probably like a Minecraft YouTuber or something like that. Not Justin, though. Justin could play the winner of Seth Rogen versus uh, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> yeah, you got to put me up against, uh, against Joe Biden. Okay, Adam Driver... Yeah, I think it's it. I I mean, I feel pretty comfortable saying that he clears me, and I I don't think it would be close. I know he has military experience as well. That one's not even. Uh, I mean, he's he's taller than me. I've seen him with his high waisted pants in Star Wars: The Last Jedi. I I think, I mean, if physical one hundred taught me anything, you don't have to be that scared of the guys who look... I mean, not to say that they wouldn't clear me, because everyone on the show clears me easy, even the, the influencers. But, like, you don't have to be that scared of the bodybuilders, because they get gassed super easily. But you should be really scared of, like, the, the mid-30s guy with two visible abs who's like, I was an Olympian 11 years ago. That dude is going to kill you. Steven Yun... One of my favorite actors, certainly the, he, I, and, and this one's going to be tough. I think this might be a first draw, but honestly, I feel like it's disrespectful to give him a draw. I think Steven Yun might be the actor right now where it's like, um, if I see that he's in a movie, I would see the movie just on that alone. He's good in everything. I know we went through this last week. We're not going to hold The Walking Dead against him. Because first off, anybody would take that role. And secondly, that's like, uh, you know, it was his big break. You say, I'm good at everything. You see, this is a, a suicide pass. In relationships, this is called a suicide pass. My wife came in and said, did you say I'm good at everything? I thought you said Kate is good at everything. I didn't mention her name in the slightest, but how are you supposed to react to that question? How are you supposed to answer that? <laughs> you didn't say it? I did not say it. But you are good at, at many things, including many things I'm not good at. By the way, I'm not, no, I'm not getting hemmed into the corner like this. Thank you, thank you, librarian. She came in and said, she's, she's pouting. She's making like a pouty face. Her stream every day is just like an hour of slander. 
That is not oh, true. I cleaned the bathroom today and my husband's toilet had so much shit and piss on it everywhere. Not, like, how could someone be so dirty? Oh, I literally, every time he opens the fridge, there's like a new mess. It's like, it's the, and I can't, he would try, he spent 45 minutes trying to put together a, a toy from a Kinder Egg. Like, it's just. That's true, though. The first hour of her stream is just like, it's a um, venting. No, 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 no. Now that you know your toilet is covered in poop and pee. That's where I poop and pee. <laughs> of course, it's, if anything's going to be covered in poop and pee, it should be, should be the toilet. <laughs> you see, I'm, you got plus two? I'm getting a lot of plus twos there. That feels good. By roasting your own self? Yeah, well, I don't consider it a roast. The toilet gets ambient... Mess as a by people in chat are like, How dirty is your toilet? I've fucking guarantee you, <laughs> I cleaned it. Yeah, but even if you were like when you were away, I did not let the house get dirty because I've lived with you for like 10 years now. So, like, as soon as there's like, I you let the mess get to like five percent, and then you're like, I gotta take it down. I let it get to like 10, and then I'm like, Oh, I better do something. Because if she checks like the pet cam or something like that, she's gonna be very what upset. The hell? We don't have a pet cam. Or like the the baby cam in the in the, in the nursery. Baby room? Yeah. How am I gonna check your toilet? I'm just saying. I don't. I now I don't let the house get like dirty at all. People in chat that probably like have empty potato chip bags on the floor are like, "How dirty is your toilet? Whoa! Do you do you miss when you peed? Do you pee on the seat?" Don't even let me get... St this is a trash can overflowing with like used tissues and stuff like that. It doesn't even have a damn lid on it. No, no sheets on the bed. And the bed doesn't even have a box spring. It's just a mattress on the ground. Oh, no. You, got, you installed baby cam in their house? <laughs> they hate it. Stop, stop. I've never seen chat move so fast. They love it. <laughs> oh my god, so scary. <laughs> so like Steven Yoon, I, listen. I don't know which way this goes. I don't want to disrespect him. I think if we fight 10 times, we're somewhere in the four to six range. I'm going to put him in draw. If I had to, I would be like... Like, I, I think I'm scoring an equalizing goal in injury time by the skin of my teeth. Lakeith Stanfield? I need to know, is he like 5'2"? Because I've seen him in uh, Sorry to Bother You, and I've seen him in... Uh, he's six feet tall? Okay, he clears me. <laughs> he's definitely killing you. Plus, doesn't he? Ha didn't he have like a secret family or something like that? I definitely don't want to fight any guy that has two families and has because, like, first off, one family takes a lot of energy. Two families is like, uh, I mean, it's I got to imagine that it's four times the energy, and then you have to keep it secret, which is more energy on top of that. No chance. He's just got he's got more will. I'm gonna put him. I think I gotta put him in the in the definitely camp, honestly. And this doesn't necessarily have to be like balanced, you know? Like there could be a lot more in the definitely beat me up camp. Tommy Wiseau is a crazy one. And I like obviously, but he's like 60, but he's in great shape and he's insane. So I think that you should run. <laughs> But, like, I think, I honestly think I could beat him. But then, I don't know, because also, wasn't he connected to, like, the, the Croatian mafia or something like that? I don't know if he's, like, a, a black belt in Krav Maga or something like that, like... 
I think I would. I'm not. I if if push came to shove, I think I would have an okay chance, just due to the age difference, mostly. But I think I would probably run because I think he's a little unstable. I don't want to fight against someone that like they've got a. I'm not sure what word I'm trying to think of here. You know, like sometimes, like a, a I, I always think of in the ninth grade, the kid in our geography class who always like covered his eyes when there was a kissing scene in a movie. He was leaning backwards on his chair and then he fell backwards and hit his head on like the cement wall. And he just started going like, I'm so fucking stupid. I fucking hate this. I'm so fucking dumb. That's the kind of energy I don't want to fight against. I want against. I want to fight against somebody if I have to that has like a, um, like a stable life. So that like I I, I don't want to fight against the person that is like, once they knock you over, they're like this is where the fight begins. I want to fight against somebody who like they knock you over and then they go like this, and then they go you know do you yield? And I go I yield I yield. And they're like, okay, get up now. Like, don't do that again. Yeah, yeah, like lawful good. Not, not chaotic neutral. Dev Patel? I would say he clears me for sure. I, I'd have to put him in the probably camp. Now, this is with a caveat. I have not seen... Green Knight, maybe he takes his shirt off in that, and I would elevate him to definitely. But I mean, when I'm when I'm looking at the list here, oh, hey, listen, I'm putting you down one. I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, he's pretty jacked now. Hang on. I'm gonna search Dev Patel 2022. I mean, it, he's in good shape. Don't get me wrong. Can I, does Wikipedia have like uh, vitals? Is that what they're called? I'm on French Wikipedia. He was born in 23 Avril 1990. All right, I'd say he probably clears me. <laughs> I don't know though. Is he is he in the Ryan Reynolds camp? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let Chad help me out on that one. James Franco. This is a tough one. He's definitely oh, okay. Everyone says no. Never mind. James Franco definitely better shape than me. Also might have some trauma to get out there because of the fact that he's been persona non grata in uh, Hollywood for like six years now. He's also a little bit crazy. I don't know, man. Like, I think <laughs> he definitely, there's no question he clears me. I just don't know where to put him, you know, like. I mean, I think I, I hate this is canceling notwithstanding. I think he definitely beats me up. I don't think I would run necessarily. I think he definitely beats me up. I would also say people might say Ben Stiller is like a draw. Nah, man, Ben Stiller, even though he's like in his mid 50s, he washes me. But I think it's maybe just a probably. Ben Stiller is, is in crazy shape. He's had a, a visible six pack for like 30 years. You go go back and watch uh, Reality Bites. It came out in like 1994. You're like, oh, Ben Stiller. He's just kind of like a he's kind of like a goofy guy. Then he takes his shirt off, and you're like, what the hell? He's like a he's an action star. Then 24 years later, go watch Tropic Thunder. I guess it was only 14 years later, but still, he's like 70. He's not 70. He's like he's probably he's probably 50. I'm gonna say he's 58. I'm looking at it. I'm look. I'm going. Ben Stiller. He's 57. Look at that. Honestly, I think I God is my witness. I think Ben Stiller probably washes me. 
But I'm, I'm merely putting him in probably. People said, how could you put Stiller here and Sandler here? You're crazy. Ben Stiller would wash Adam Sandler. Ben Stiller would take Adam Sandler 9 out of 10, maybe 10 out of 10. If you look at, at these two actors and you're like, oh, that's like they're roughly the same level, level of physical dominance, like you got to get your eyes checked at the Costco optometrist. He's not 78. He's 57. Okay, he might be short, but whatever. That does it, Honestly, I don't think being tall is a huge advantage in a normie fight because a short person, they hit lower on your center of gravity. It's easier to, for them to knock you over. It's easier for them to take your legs out. It's like throwing low kicks in Street Fighter. I'm realizing there's not a lot of people I wash <laughs> in, the, in the remainder of the list. Oh my God, why don't you just marry a basketball? Ben Stiller doesn't do well in one-on-one -on -one basketball. Okay, was that who could I take on the hard court? I mean, if I had to guess, the list would look pretty similar. I would definitely demolish Patrick Stewart in one-on-one -on -one basketball. Sandler would crush me. I'd probably go even with, with Rogan, maybe less than even. Seems like he might play some Hollywood basketball for all I know. I don't think I'm taking too many people in basketball, honestly, because Ben Stiller played basketball in The Cable Guy, or he directed the basketball scene, at least. I feel like I could probably take Tommy Wiseau in basketball. I mean, let's get back down to it. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal crushes me. It's not even close. It's, I would say, definitely beats me up. I w there's no room for discussion or debate. Plus, did you see the video of him in the, in the UFC for that movie? He crushes me. This is not Kevin Hart? Is this Kevin Hart? It's not Kevin Hart. Who is this? I knew it wasn't Kevin Hart just because you can tell from the headshot he's like six feet tall. It's the guy from Moonlight? Isn't that um, this guy? The guy who's playing Blade. I mean, like, this is a gimme. He crushes me. I put him in definitely beats me up tier. They're both in it? Okay, what's his name? Give me a second here. There's one, more than one guy in Moonlight. I didn't see Moonlight because I don't watch movies that win Best Picture. I watch movies that nom are nominated and supposed to win but then lose, like La La Land. That's not Blade? Buddy, that's Blade. They're making the Blade movie right now. Your ass is literally wrong. Trevante Rhodes is an American actor. I can just tell. The first image I see here, 19-inch biceps, Height, 1.83 meters tall. <laughs> Boulder shoulders. I'm sorry uh, to... Oh, there's a movie where he's training to be a boxer. It's not even close. This would be... Uh, clears me without a doubt. It's not even a contest. Doesn't even need uh, debate. I can't believe I'm older than this guy. You know what? One of the craziest things about getting older is... Um, when you're like 17 and you see a guy that's older than you that's jacked, You had the most extreme copium is like, well, I got like 11 years. I could be that jacked when I'm his age. Then you're like his age, and you're like, uh, nope. <laughs> but when you're like, you have so much potential, you know, when you're, when you're younger, you're like, I could, how long would it take to get that jacked? It would probably only take like three or four years. I would have like seven years to spare. And then you're like, you know, then you get there and you're like, oh, I was busy doing other shit. <laughs> that's when you start being like, yeah, but they got like nutritionists and personal trainers and like that's their job. And like I got other things to do and like it must be nice to live in Hollywood and have everything taken care of for you. I live in a food desert. Plus, they're all on steroids anyway. If I was on steroids, I would definitely... I would definitely look like a Hollywood actor if I was on steroids. I certainly would not look like the security guard from Victoria's Secret. Anyway, I would say Robert Pattinson. I think he clears me, but I think it's merely a probably. He has like a, a normal, 
great physique in the Batman. He doesn't... Oh, <laughs> Moo 101, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Like, he doesn't have, like, a, a roided up, HGH, insane, Optimus Prime, Iron Man physique. He's just in really good shape in the movie. He's good... He looks, he looks good. And I'm sure he got like some training. Don't get me wrong. I think he clears me. I don't think it's a... Uh, I don't think he, he crushes. I don't think it's pure dominance. I think at least for a couple rounds, you're like, oh, this could go either way, but I give patents in the edge. Then like round three, he like... He goes sicko mode, but... Now Dave Franco, I think I could take. I know he's in good shape as well, but I feel like Dave Franco is like 5'4". That's about where I'd be like, I think maybe the height advantage could actually work in my favor. Height doesn't matter. I know I said that, but I mean, he's like, he's really short. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? I'm taller than Dave Franco. He's taller than Ben Stiller. I think I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I think Stiller clears Franco, the Dave variety. Franco parentheses Dave. And the reason is because maybe I'm putting way too much. I, I listen. I think you guys were all thinking of. Ben Stiller, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Um, excuse me, Kristen Wiig, it would really change my life if, um, we could, uh, if you would be so kind as to let me, um, pay for your dinner one night, oh, uh, please. I'm thinking of, of Ben Stiller as Tug Speedman in Tropic Thunder with the, like, machine gun in one hand and no shirt, and he's, like, glistening. It, hey, who left the fridge open? That's who I'm thinking of. It was not decades ago. It was one... This is like Justin saying that 24 hours is two days. It was 15 years ago. That's not decades. That's 1.5 decades. It's not almost two decades. It's 75% of the way to the minimum amount of time that constitutes two decades. It's, it's not my fault that we pluralize on 0.5. We pluralize on 1.0000000001. It's definitely closer to, to one decade than it is to two decades at that point. It's not the, the English language, you know, pluralizing as soon as you get even one infinitesimal increment over one, that doesn't mean that the, it's a mathematical argument. How old are you? Oh, I'm 0 0.1 decades old. Oh, so more than one decade because you pluralized? How old are you? Zero days old. Oh, so more than one day, huh? Like, what are you even talking about? According to chat, like the second after your 10th birthday, guess what? Get a job. You're 20. I'm an ESL teacher. This is a great form of consternation for my students. Listen, I was only an ESL teacher for a year, and I was not really qualified for it. But I feel like in the early classes, you just were like, just learn it. For my more advanced students, sometimes they'd be like, teacher, why do we say this? Why do we park on a driveway and drive on a parkway? And I'd have to like, listen, kid. Nobody knows. Nobody knows at all. It's not, life is not fair. I learned all this shit because, like, I grew up only speaking English, watching English media, so it gets baked in. You got to learn it because your parents want to send you to, like, uh, uh, you know, if not an Ivy League, at least one of the universities of California. Like, I, I, listen, we've all got our own cursed load to pull in this life, okay? You just got to remember it. 
I think I could probably beat up Dave Franco. Now, am I, it, there's a little bit of maybe like anchoring here because I literally just put like nine guys in the list of people who could beat me up. Maybe my own ego wants me to believe that that this is the most likely target for me to take of the remainder, but I think I could, I think I could get Dave Franco six out of ten times. Okay, this is the guy, he's the bad boyfriend from Midsummer. I, um, I mean, I think he clears me, for sure. I feel bad just saying the same thing over and over, but like, what do you want me to, what do you want me to say? Well, you know what, I'm now like, he's, he's buff. He's a horrible boyfriend though. If the list was like, who could be a better boyfriend to Florence Pugh? then like, I would definitely clear him. That wouldn't even be like close because he's very insensitive. What's his name? It's Jack something. Jack from Midsummer. His name is Jack Rayner. I thought that was the guy from Starcraft. Height, 1.83 meters. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All other things being equal, and they're not equal because I'm sure that he's probably in better shape than me to begin with. The height probably pushes him over even further, sure. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm going to put him in probably, but I think it's probably closer to definitely. Miles Teller clears me without a doubt. He crushes me. I, he rinses me without a doubt. I, I'm I'm cooked. I would say that's a definitely. Um, I honestly think I can take Will Poulter. I think he's taller than me, but he's a little skinnier. Plus, like I saw him when he was like ten years old in a movie called Son of Rambo. And I was like 20 and he was like 10. And that's just kind of like where his strength is anchored in my brain. He tanked up. He's jacked now. What the hell, dude? I should have done this list like last year. Oh, I don't know. I was still chubby back then. Hang on. Will Poulter, 2022. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot. He's got the... He's in the day. Oh, no, dude. He's in the Marvel movies. I forgot. I'm toast. A couple of years ago, we might have had a chance. But yeah, you know what? I think he probably takes me now. I forgot he's Adam Warlock, right? I mean, Ethan Hawke, definitely. I, well, I didn't say definitely. I put him in the probablys. He is like 60-something. He's been in some action movies. He also strikes me as kind of an insane person. A lot of mental strength because a scanner darkly must have included some onset days with uh, Alex Jones. I would have to give him a probably. I think that there maybe there's a chance. I think I'd take Andrew Garfield. It's tough for me to say that. I think it's possible that it's just that he's skinny, so I'm underestimating him a little bit. But he, he was Spider-Man for like two movies and then also one more movie. Listen, I gotta... <laughs> you know what? Don't put him in draw. <laughs> give me a chance. Casey Affleck, I got to go with, with probably on that one. I honestly, I don't feel like the list is that bad. You got to run from Casey Affleck? Well, he is a little intense for sure, yeah. I think this list is not that bad. There's no doubt that like, come on, there's no debate here. I'm rinsing Patrick, I'm sorry. It, it, it's, they put us up against one another. I didn't want to do it. This tier, I mean, anybody, the only Adam Sandler strength that people have posted is that he plays a lot of basketball. It doesn't matter to me at all. Seth Rogen, I think he's like me 10 years in the future. I think I, I probably clear him right now. Seth Rogen is way stronger than you. What are you talking about? Weed lungs? That's literally like, it's the opposite of how it works, man. 
What about Christian Bale? What do you mean? It's like saying, what about God? Like, of course, Christian Bale would rinse me without a doubt. What about Dwayne The Rock Johnson? What do you think? Uh, I'd say he could probably get me. All right. I mean, I, click. I think this is accurate. We should, I, if I learned anything from Coney's social media account, we should put this image on Twitter to farm some uh, outrage. Tier lists on Twitter are so funny because literally I never look at them. I, I think that everybody's like this, but I never look at them and go like, oh, I 80% agree with that. I start at the bottom tier and then look for the first thing that pisses me off and then start typing the reply. I'm like, really? Sour Patch Kids D tier? Are you crazy? Even if I agree with literally everything else, it's like... Something wrong with the human brain. How about this one? 